Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Tips and Tricks 14. Board Breaker Breakdown Non-Response Board Breaker these, in these include Dark Ruler No More, Ultimate Slayer, and Forbidden Droplet. So these are the board breakers that you cannot respond to in Yu-Gi-Oh! And currently, we only have three of them. It would be nice if we had more, but we don't have a lot. Dark Ruler No More is the one that's aging really well, and the one that we use the most often. Forbidden Droplet has fallen out of favor and is not used as much as Dark Ruler No More. So what do I mean by non-response board breaker? Non-response board breakers are board breakers that cannot be responded to with monster effects. And this is tends to be a common thing with the way you with you use state at the moment. As as a lot of combo decks or just a lot of uh, decks in general in Yu-Gi-Oh make a lot of monster heavy boards that have a lot of negation, a lot of disruption, a lot of things on the board that are mostly to deal with, that mostly use monsters to oppress the opponent as monsters have just evolved to do practically everything in Yu-Gi-Oh! And so to create that back and forth gameplay we have these non-response board breakers that don't respond to monster effects in it, meaning that if your opponent has a field of loads of monsters with negation that you can just break it easily with one of these non-response board breakers okay clearance board breakers so what are clearance board breakers clearance board breakers are board breakers that with the name that is suggested here clear the board that's their sole purpose and they tend to be used to clear the board to when your opponent has a lot of monster has made a monster heavy board that has a lot of negation on it. So you use them primarily to bait out the negations so that you can then play your own deck and make your own um, obnoxious board if you're the same kind of combo deck or just or if not your combo deck or whatever kind of deck you are and just make your board as you go. They all have the purpose of clearing your opponent's board in an efficient uh, manner. And when you do, it creates that back and forth gameplay that Yu-Gi-Oh that Yu -Gi is all about in the modern setting. Especially now because monsters have um, evolved, the gameplay has evolved right now and board breakers are more important than ever in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. More so than I would say than negation because they bring back that back and forth gameplay that Yu-Gi-Oh's had in the past, obviously. And one of the board breakers that has helped this with this a lot is especially is evenly matched. Evenly matched um, has really helped in creating that back and forth gameplay. And funnily enough, evenly matched is a really powerful card. And if it was in any other card game, I would say it will be banned straight away. It just goes to show how the speed and power that you use at at the moment that we need such a powerful card like evenly matched to exist in order for us to have a back and forth gameplay and it goes to show the state of the game at the moment um some would say it's not really good and i would you know i would agree but i would also say that i think it's part of you use you know charm you know the speed of the game is just how it is and um and i feel in the future if we can have more board breakers i think we need more board breakers and less um cards that konami makes that you know that negates the opponent more cards that clear the board more clearance cards and less cards say no, more cards say yes. I believe that's what it's about. It's not about stopping your opponent, it's about playing with your opponent. And I think that's where we've been going to recently with how Konami has been dealing with certain things. That's all I've got to say about that. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, 
you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My faith, right, is in your hands.